here today. Very, very much appreciated. And uh, this is going to be my third film. It's going to be a feature film. I think short films are for pussies. This is a third final feature fucking thing. It's going to be called Triple Film. The first one is called Trip Back Forward. The second one's going to be called Southern Homebrew Killers. This one, the third one's going to be shot in New York City. So, I don't know if uh, I wrote this script kind of with a lot of you in mind. So, your names are pretty much, you know, like Ian is Ian, Davenport is Davenport, and, uh, you know, Tater is Tater, and, you know, what have you. Uh, you're you're going to be playing Haley. I think that was a great name. Uh, Mama B is Barbosa down there. I thought that was a great name. Um, Arthur, you'll be playing the Beast at the end of the film. He's a really cool, fun character. Dane's going to be playing Sheriff Davenport, and, uh, Amber's going to be playing uh, one of the females in the family. Now, she's not scripted, but we want to put you in the movie anyway. So, um, you know, feel free to improvise and, and come up with some stuff on your own there. And Ian's going to be playing Ian for now. And if you guys want to change your name or, or give yourself a different uh, character name, that's cool too. And feel free to uh, improvise within the means of this uh, constructed little thing here. I guess we'll just start off reading it and, and see how it goes and, and see how y'all feel about it, you know? <clears throat> so we'll start off in the exterior of the Peachtree Woods in the day. Haley, 20s, is riding in a dog <coughs> cart with Mama B, also in her 20s. Mama B has a flask in her cleavage. Haley occasionally grabs it and takes sips while smoking a joint. We may not do the smoking a joint because of the Peachtree Pigs, so <coughs> here we go. It's going to be a fun day, Mama. Just don't get too drunk before the fun starts. I can handle myself. Not what I mean, you can't. They pull up to the backyard of Mama's house, park the golf cart, and get out. Haley, not re realizing how tipsy she is, falls to the ground in a huge puddle of mud. She is covered in mud, and Mama B laughs. laughs. You silly cracker. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. Mama B helps Haley up and takes her to the garage. Mama B finds a hose with an attached sprinkler system. She walks Haley in the backyard and turns the sprinkler on. Haley runs back and forth through the sprinkler till the mud comes off. I'm going inside, child, to fix me something to eat. All right, Mama B. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mama B goes inside the house to fix up some mac and cheese. Haley is lying in the sun, trying to dry off. Uh, we see a point of view as if someone is watching her. Haley senses she is being watched and looks uncomfortably into the woods preceding the backyard. Mama B comes out with mac and cheese, but slips on the wet grass and falls, spilling the mac and cheese all over Haley's face. Jesus Christ, what the fuck else could happen to me today? Oh, shit, child. I'm sorry. You gonna get it. Haley jumps up and chases Mama B through the yard and tries to kiss her with mac and cheese all over her face. The two run around laughing and screaming. We again see the lingering point of view of someone watching them. Interior Mama's house evening. Haley is sitting in a chair watching TV. Mama B is working out next to her on the floor. What time do you think people will start showing up? Oh, hell, I guess whenever they feel like wishing your dumb ass a happy birthday. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me have a party at your place. I love you, hunky mama. You know I love you too, nigga baby. <laughs> they kiss, Haley stands up. So, I'm gonna go out back for a smoke. The sun is setting. Haley is on the back porch overlooking the backyard in dark woods. She hears a noise coming from the woods. She walks towards the woods. Hello? Hello? Is this someone with a birthday surprise? Suddenly, Haley is hit over the head with a shovel by Ian, a rough looking guy wearing a rebel flag ball cap. Haley falls to the ground and Ian drags her into the woods. Her still lit cigarette lays on the ground amidst dead leaves which begin to catch fire. Exterior front doorbell of Mama's house at night. Party people in their 20s and 30s arrive at Mama B's house to celebrate Haley's birthday. They are waiting at the door for someone to answer. While waiting, they are blasting a boombox, drinking and huffing nitrous balloons. Mama finally comes to the door. Perfect timing, you pigs. <laughs> She's out <laughs> back. Perfect free. timing, you pig. She's out back smoking a cigarette. Wait. Yeah. Perfect timing, you pigs. She's out back catching a smoke. Shut the music down and everybody hide. The party people disperse and pick and choose <coughs> different hiding spots around the house. Mama B looks out back to spot Haley's current position. She <coughs> looks and looks but cannot see Haley. She then notices a small fire toward the back woods. That girl's, an, that girl's up to no good. She thinks she's going to prank us. Everybody out. Let's wish this bitch a happy birthday. Mama B and the party people exit and approach the small fire at the border of the woods. Party person number one. Hey Haley, happy birthday, slam hog. Party person two. Come on out, you slut bag, and party like it's on. All right, sugar titties. Now I'm getting tired of your pranks. 
It's cold out here now. Come on in and let's party. The woods are quiet. No sign of Haley. Ian drags Haley through the woods. She is slightly bleeding from her forehead. Ian stops, picks her up, and slings her over his shoulder. In the backyard night. Mama B and the party people are pissed off now. This fucking blows. Fuck her. Let's go in and eat. Mama B and the rest of the party people agree and all make their way back into the house. Ian, with Haley slung over his shoulder, enters a backwoods house. Taters, in his, Tater in his 40s, is sitting on the back porch eating onion rings, dipping them in barbecue <laughs> sauce. Where'd you pick that muffin up? She just walked into our woods. Ooh, dessert's gonna be good tonight. Ian enters the backwoods house and Haley slung over his shoulder and Tater following behind. Um, inside the house. The house is made up of taxidermied animals, old movie poster, model cars, and planes. Sawdust is everywhere, lots of tools and weapons lying around. A full functioning home brewery is on the back porch. Now back to Mama's house. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat just as planned. Mama B and the party people begin to eat. Then we cut to Tater, applying barbecue sauce with a paintbrush to Haley's toes. He begins to lick it off, sucking the sauce from toe to toe. Ian watches and laughs. Haley awakens and screams in terror. T terror. Who the fuck are you people? Well, calm down, ma'am. We're just having a little fun is all. Please don't fucking hurt me. Suddenly the back door kicks open. Plymouth 30s enters. He's wearing only underwear and welly boots. Tattooed across his guts are the word beer. He has a dog with three legs on a leash or seven. Plymouth lets the dog go and the dog hobbles over to Haley licking her. She holds the dog and cries. Who's she? Found her in the woods. Can we keep her, Plymouth? What's her name, girl? Haley. Like Haley's Comet. Now what the fuck are we gonna, what you're doing in our woods? I just walked to the edge of the woods and he took me. She points to Ian. Well, I guess we haven't had a good time in a while. Ian laughs and Tater begins to clap with barbecue sauce all over his hands. <laughs> Mama B and the party people are worried now. Now this shit is just plain weird. Just stupid. Where, where, where y'all think this bitch is? Knowing Haley, she's probably out, ran off with some jogger and fucking him in the woods. <laughs> but the cigarette, the fire? The dumb cunt probably flicked it in the wrong direction. I think y'all should go. Come on out. Mama B rounds up the party people and throws them out of her house. She shuts the door and turns to look directly into the camera with an extremely worried look on her face. Dissolved to the backwoods at night. Haley is tied to a table. She is blindfolded and gagged. Tater continues painting her toes with barbecue sauce. Ian sits with the three-legged dog and watches. Can't believe I wrote this. Plymouth with a large knife in his hand whispers in Haley's ear. I don't care if it's your birthday. I don't care if you're not fine. You're in my house now, baby, and in my house you're mine. Plymouth gently runs the blade of his knife down Haley's face and onto her chest. The reflection of the blade glistens off of Haley's sweaty flesh. Exterior police station morning. Mama B enters the police station and approaches the front desk. Get me Sheriff Davenport, will ya? Sheriff Davenport appears behind her and taps her on the shoulder. What'll be, Mama B? Haley's gone mission. Well, she's probably out deep through in half the town. I'm serious. I think she's in trouble this time. Well, then I'll get right on top of her. I'll just do it my damn self. All right, but he, 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 you go, well, then I'll get right on top of her. <laughs> like, on top of it. Right. And then, then let him say, calm down, Mama, you know? Okay. Calm down, Mama. If she don't turn up in 48 hours, I'll start an investigation. Well, I'll just do it myself. All right. Interior of the Backwoods House Day. Plymouth unties Haley blindfolded as she wakes up. Now, you've met Tater and Ian, but I'd like to introduce you to the rest of my family. This is Max and Grandma. Max and Grandma wave hello. What's happening here? Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Last night we had a little fun with you. We were all real gentle, though. Well, that's mighty considerate of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you feel like meat. You're a very pretty girl, and, well, somebody get her a beer. Ian goes to grab a homebrew for Haley and passes it to her. She slams it down. Well, I guess I'm fucked. <laughs> Why don't you settle down with us? We'll take care of you. Real good care of you. Mama B rides around in her golf cart, looking around for Haley. She stops at the burnt leaves left from Haley's cigarette. She looks into the woods and stares. Mama B grabs a pistol grip shotgun and laces up her combat boots. She prepares to go in the woods and find Haley. Now, dissolving to the backwoods porch of the day, Haley sits with the three-legged dog, Ian, Max, Grandma, and Plymouth. The beer's brewing. I'd like to go now. You're not going anywhere, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take her to the beast? Yeah, let's take her to the beast. Haley is confused and looks over to Plymouth. Get up, girl. You're coming with us. Ian and Max grab Haley and pick her up. She struggles, but Grandma whacks her a few times with her cane. The whole family proceed to the upper part of the backyard. Exterior backwoods backyard day. The ground 
levels out to a small space inhabited by the beast, thirties, a grisly looking man. The beast is eating leftover bones and flesh as they lay around him. He is a cannibal. Haley screams at the sight of him just as Ian and Max throw her to the beast. Mama B comes out from behind two trees and fires from her pistol grip shotgun. She hits and kills Ian and Max. Grandma yells at Mama B. The beast is holding on to Haley and Plymouth keeps his eye on Mama B. You hillbillies picked the wrong tails to chase. You just killed my brothers. Shut up and do what I say. Grab the old hoe. Grandma? Throw the bitch to the beast. Plymouth grabs Grandma and tosses her to the beast. The beast drops Haley and begins to eat Grandma alive. Grandma! Haley, get over here, child. Haley runs over to Mama B and hugs her tightly. Mama B holds her shotgun at Plymouth. Wouldn't you say we're even? I just fed my grandma to the beast. We're not going to be even until you're dead. Mama B cocks the shotgun and aims it at Plymouth. Now ain't your mama going to soggy up your pancake. No, Mama B. Haley grabs the shotgun from Mama B and fires it at Plymouth. She shoots him in the stomach and he falls right in front of the beast who has just finished off Grandma. Why? Because you ain't going to do this no more. The beast grabs Plymouth and begins to eat him. What are we going to do with this man eat machine when he's done with him? Shoot it, I guess. Suddenly, Tater comes running out from the woods and pushes Mama B and Haley towards the beast. Get ready to die, bitches! <laughs> Sheriff Davenport appears behind Tater. I knew the rumors of the Southern homebrew, homebrew killers could be fact. Now let's make them fiction. The sheriff shoots Tater in the head. He fires a few rounds at the beast, just enough so Mama B and Haley can escape. The three of them stand and watch the beast as it now begins to consume Tater. How can we stop it? It just so happens I got a stick of dynamite down my pants. Well, pull it out and make it explode, white boy! <laughs> the sheriff pulls out a stick of dynamite and chucks it at the beast. The beast starts to eat it. The sheriff fires his gun, but the beast blows up. Chunks of Grandma, Tater, Plymouth, Ian, and Max are strewn about. How the hell we're going to do that, I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff. The sheriff gives a look of love to the two women, and they just... <laughs> now, this is all comical, obviously, and we're going to improvise with a lot of this stuff. And, you know, especially with the effects, you know, we do have a real pistol grip shotgun we can have with blanks, so we can film you from a side angle, you know, <laughs> and then we'll cut to, you know, with blood all over the chest and shit like that. Um, in a, and as far as the beast, you know, I like you to be like, <laughs> you know, like real oh, maniacal, yeah, real I, crazy. I, I can do crazy. <laughs> awesome. And you know, to grab them and you know, and then we'll cut, you know, and we'll. Yeah. It's all about quick cuts with this. And then like, you know, for your safety, so when you read this, you're like, Jesus, you know, what the hell else could happen to me? But you know, we'll film it, it as such. Cut. You know, and we'll put like a towel under you and drag you, but just film your body from here, so you're always safe. You know. Um, and then the table, you know, you'll be tied to the table kind of like this, and then they, it'll be from your point of view, at which point Amber had a great scene for her, like, you know, you're looking up in terror at all these guys around you, three-legged dog and what have you, and then a woman appears above your head, so we'll shoot from this point of view and see this nice lovely lady, Amber, looking over you, and you're like, oh, thank God, you know, everything's going to be okay, and she's like, bitch, you're going to get, you know, she's one of the family now, you're like, oh shit. Um, the other thing is like the fire in the woods, you know, we can do that easily, pour a little lighter fluid on thing and then put it right out. Um, what are you doing for costuming? Costuming, we're going to come up with wardrobe. I would like people to kind of come up with their own wardrobe if they're comfortable. For you, I'd see like shirtless with an overalls on maybe. I'm thinking, you know, uh, bib overalls, one strap. Down, yeah. yeah. Excellent. If I can find, uh, might be able to find some. Cool, very cool. Um, and then your wardrobe, skimpy, you know, you're known as like a little slutty, you okay. know, around the town. That's why when you go missing, people are like, eh, whatever, she's probably out. Like a lot of makeup know. or no makeup or what? Not too much, but maybe, you know, pretty. Okay. And skimpy clothing, stuff like that. The the funny scene is the, and we're going to have to find a pile of good mud or something or okay. make it somehow. But when you fall in the mud, uh, when you wash the mud off, I want to get like a sprinkler that's like that, you know, and, and do it like in slow-mo, like you're running through the sprinkler, like real sexy, <laughs> sexy looking. And then, you know, she comes out with the mac and cheese. And just as you're looking like so sexy, she's like, whoa. And it's like, and it's just like, what the fuck? You know, like, like you didn't see that coming. And then that's, you know, the humor of, of that. Um, and... Let's see, anything else I'd like to go over while well, I got y'all here? Are you doing dirt makeup?